Yo guys, Theo here on Common Sense. Today we're going to be talking about shadow work, so I'm going to attempt to paraphrase Carl Jung here. We'll see how well I remember his words, but he said something along the lines of the king constantly needs the renewal that begins with the descent into his own darkness, his shadow. It's the dissolution of the persona that sets this in motion. So the shadow work, it is the work that most people are fleeing from. Some people start to work on themselves, you know, improve their diet, start going to the gym and all that, but the shadow work is like the real work, all right? So what's described in that um, quote, paraphrase from Carl Jung, is basically the king, that's you, the king or queen, the person that is working on themselves, they will find themselves because life is a pendulum, right? We have, like I talk about, upswings and downswings. And sometimes we will find ourselves in a spot where either just the flow of life makes us, you know, doubt things, feel differently about things, or some actual life event made this happen, right? And most people, they shy away at looking at themselves then. You know, most people want to play the victim, uh, point the finger like, oh, if only it wasn't for this, this and this, then I'd do better, then I'd have this, then I'd have what I want, you know, or it was this person's fault or these things, people just do these things to me and blah, 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 blah. But it just, just does not help anything. You know, not everything that happens to you, not every situation in your life is your fault, but it's just not helpful to you at all to um, be playing the victim all the time. Like our thoughts create a reality. If you think you are the victim of your circumstances, then you are, but you really aren't, okay? So even when things happen that seemingly, you know, they're not your fault necessarily, but the only constant in your life is you. So at some point you got to stop pointing the finger and ask yourself, okay, what part do I play in all of this? How can I change so that I get less of these outcomes? I don't want, I don't end up in this state. I don't have people do these things to me or whatever it is, you know. So the shadow, it is that part of ourselves that we, you know, either are blind to or refuse to acknowledge. It's in the subconscious, right? Like we think we are so self-aware, uh, we are in control, we know so much about ourselves, right? But the conscious mind, the thinking, reasoning mind, it just makes up like 5% of who we are. We are dictated so much more about our subconscious um, mechanisms, right? Many of them picked up from childhood, you know, things that we were told as we were growing up, but, you know, from other events and people, our environment in our life as well. So it is difficult because it's not something you can consciously perceive, right? You you might think you are completely different, uh, the, you know, because the conscious mind can know something that I shouldn't be doing this, but it can be just imprinted in your subconscious to do these things, right? So what shadow work is, is to really go digging in the dark, find out, find out what is what's lurking there in the shadow because the thing is you can never run from your shadow it's always there you know what most people do is of course they escape it somehow you know either resort to the vices or just you know play the victim until eventually you know they might feel better because something changes in their life you know that again life has ups and down swings even like outside of our control it, it is on a pendulum things will just change a little bit like that but if you never go digging in the dark that shadow is going to come back to haunt you. Do you understand? It's like if you find yourself getting similar outcomes in life, like say relationships, you know, you end up with the same kind of person and you're like, oh, I'm so unlucky in dating. Like, you know, there, there are two people involved there, but at some point you got to see your part. Okay, what it is it about me that attracts this kind of person? Or if uh, other people, you know, you feel used often in life, oh, people just use me. Like, yeah, you know, they might be malicious and they shouldn't be doing that morally, but you also got to ask yourself, what is it about me that makes people do this, right? You really got to look at yourself and you got to make the unconscious, the subconscious conscious so that you can overcome this. That is what shadow work is, right? So I have, you could say, when I went through this episode with the panic attacks that I had to overcome, I, you know, I didn't use that terminology back then, but it was really shadow work I was doing because, you know, on the one hand I was facing um, these panic attacks, just overcoming them, but I also was thinking and trying to figure out so much, on like, why did this happen, you know, well, how did I end up in this situation? Because this, I can just, 
just can't have been predestined to end up here, right? And I figure out a lot about myself. And then it's like, you know, you build yourself up and you feel like complete, even though you might not think, I hope no one is like arrogant enough when there, as an adult at least to think like, oh, I'm just finished now in the work on myself. I, I never thought that. But then certain life events will like highlight where you have yet to heal. It will pull out that shadow. And yeah, yeah, I've had this a few times now uh, since, since my awakening or we want to call that after the panic attacks. And it's not fun, guys. It's not fun work. It's not fun when things happen. Like I say, many of the things, you know, not all your fault at all. It's not about like blaming, but it's about taking responsibility. It's not a very fun thing to do when life like hands you shit. And instead of being like, oh yeah, people are mean to me or oh, I'm unlucky or blah, blah. You have to, because you know, it might be in part true, but still that you have to go like, okay, what's my part? What can I do better? to not make this shit happen as much, you know? It's not fun, but it's gotta be done or else you're bound to repeat the same things. Like I said, that shadow, it's gonna be there. And the good thing is, I don't know how, how many examples I'm gonna go into here, but many of your shadow aspects can be made into a strength. That's why I've, I've made that video too, right? How trauma is a superpower. We can take something like um, anxiety, you know? It, it's like, you know, it's often from being brought up in a um, environment, a home, where, um, you know, there's a lot of in emotional inconsistency. You never know. Some family member might explode. You never know. So you have to be, you have to think ahead, like, what, how my behavior, how might that uh, affect uh, my, my caregiver or my sibling or whoever it is, you know. Um, and you, you have to really watch yourself and think ahead and be sensitive to other people. Like, how will they react to my behaviors? When you start, you know, healing that aspect of yourself, you will still be very good at, like, reading people and um, thinking ahead, being more strategic like that. So that's the reward for doing the shadow work. Like I say, it's not fun. It's not fun at all when you feel like shit and be like, okay, where can I improve in this? Because I said it's not often a direct like outcome of something you did, but you played a part in it though. That's what we, that, that's the thing. It's so, it's so, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, of course, when shitty things happen to us or when we feel like shit, it would feel a lot better to just get to point the finger and like, oh, if only they didn't do this, if I wasn't so unlucky, la, 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 la. And look, people will, you will be a victim, like just speaking factually sometimes. Someone will do something you didn't deserve and all that. But it's just, so, so it's not about victim blaming, like saying that it was your fault that the shit, uh, you, you, you know, you're shitty, that the way you feel or what happened to you, that it's your fault. That's not the point. But it's just highlighting the fact that it, it just doesn't help you to, to be a victim. Like... Of course, sometimes we have to like collect ourselves and feel it, feel a little bad, be a little sad about whatever, you know. But then it's just not helpful. We're, you're just not going to improve in any way. You're gonna, not going to improve your life circumstance by doing that. So that's why we have to ask ourselves these tough questions like, okay, this shit that I don't want in my life, what can I do? Because again, you're the only constant in your life. So what can you do to do shadow work? Well, you have to just reflect a lot, like meditate and just even, you know, spending a lot of time in solitude, fasting, all these things. Just look within and really think through, think through like my life right now. What's going on? What am I not happy with? How would I like things to change? How can, what part can I have played here? You have to, you have to be so honest with yourself. And it's not about, you have to look at it from a perspective of, you know, not be, you know, not beat yourself up over it. Just be very stoic and figure out like, oh, maybe, maybe these patterns I have lead to these things. Maybe I played a part. Maybe if I did things differently like this, you know, you really, really, and of course it's helpful to understand where it comes from too. If you can go backtrack in your childhood and that, just to give yourself some sympathy because our shadow aspects, we have picked them up because at some point they served us uh, often again most often as children and then in adult life they just don't right and then of course just educating yourself watching videos like mine like uh, but, but uh, other um you know what, what related to whatever you're going through educate yourself and then it's just it's just it's that hard work you know but that will pay off 
you know, it's difficult now or difficult later. Do you want to, like, because, you know, I, I've had, this year has been mostly shadow work for me. I've had to look within a lot. I've been having a lot of solitude time, meditating, educating myself a lot, you know. And uh, what was I even going to say? <laughs> no, but it, it's like, yeah, difficult now, difficult later. There's absolutely, it's just that I've chosen, I've been on this path in life for so long that I don't really truly considering it, but it is, there is a part of me that just want to say, fuck it all. I'll, I'll just give up on everything of this. I'll go out drinking, I start hooking up with girls, I cope, you know. Absolutely, a part of me wants to do that, but I know that won't give me shit. That will make me regress as a person. I might forget about the shit I've had to deal with this year temporarily, but if I don't work to change me, I'm gonna get a similar outcome again in the future. So I choose to do the difficult work now to improve my outcomes later in life. That's what the shadow work is all about. So I hope this made sense, guys. Please let me know if there's anything you want me to like go into more detail. This kind of stuff is, it's not necessarily new for me, but I've been a spiritual guy for, for a long time, but I'm feeling like I'm really having my like deep dive into the spiritual stuff arc. So please let me know if there's anything you want me to go deeper into here. Please like and comment anyway. All comments and likes help support the channel, so it's very much appreciated. You can send me an email or DM on Instagram if you're interested in the coaching. I'm taking on clients, so hit me up and I'll tell you about my different alternatives. And please subscribe for more content about fitness, fasting, losing weight, building muscles, health improvement, stoicism, mental health, philosophy, spirituality. We're going to put that in there. Mindset. It's a mindset, guys. Do the difficult work now to make life easier later, not the opposite. Okay, guys. Peace.